Hey up YouTubers, how are we? As you all know, I bought myself a CCM Spitfire ooh, a couple of weeks ago. Three weeks in it, to be in fact. Um, when I first rode it, I wasn't really happy with it. Um, suspension setup. So I got in touch with CCM. They gladly got back in touch with me, gave me some settings. Anybody who owns a CCM Spitfire Mark 1 and like to know how to set the suspension up, stick around, stay tuned. So as most of you know, if you watch the first video when I had a ride out, um, the front end was a bit... Um, so the front end was, was basically too hard, rebound was, was, was too much, wasn't soaking up the um, bumps it should do. Back end wasn't really that bad. But um, I got in touch with CCM, they got back in touch with me, um, told me the um, settings for under 14 stone, which I am, hopefully. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at how it goes. So as you can see, just there on the top of the um, CCM front forks, you've got a 24mm nut and you've also got a three-pronged um, adjuster. So 24mm uh, nut is for the uh, preload of the springs inside and the three-pronged um, adjuster is for rebound. What we need to do is this 24mm nut, I'm going to wind it all the way out and we're going to go back in clockwise three full turns. The three-pronged adjuster is basically a needle valve which stops the oil from um, escaping back in. So the rebound on it, what we need to do, dial that all the way in and then um, anti-clockwise 10 clicks out, which will slow the rebound down. So it's just bouncing around like a jack-in-the-box. So I've already done this, um, I'm not going to do it anymore oh, because I think it's uh, already done. I've already, like I said, I did it last week. I didn't do a video on it because I didn't want to make it uh, make a mess of it. Instead of getting a 24 mil spanner in there and trying to get your three turns back and turning it all the way in, what I did, I think it was the easy way. I took the four prongs out of the handlebars. I took the handlebar. Um, connection off, held it up out of place and then used a 24mm um, socket with a ratchet on them. It was, it, was, it was far quicker, far easier. Also, when I first ro rode the bike, um, I found that my right hand was getting a little bit sore, it just at the angle. So what I did, I turned the bars back towards myself around about, I think it was about three degrees and it seems to have eliminated that. So this is the thing what a lot of people don't do is when they buy a bike, is they don't really set it up to themselves. They try and, 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 and get round it to, to, to how the bike's already set up. These handlebars are completely um, adjustable. And then if you, if, once you rotate everything forward, you may need to do the bars and everything and um, your levers forward to make it easier for yourself. Because I use like a, like a flat hand um, when my BM came back from the repairers when I threw it down the road last year. It came back set up and, and, and I was getting sore in my arms. So, I might look at doing, there is a couple of videos I think on YouTube regarding how to set up the bike for yourself to feel comfortable, but you should do it because I've got an issue now with the gear lever that needs um, moving probably around about four degrees, probably a notch, but the worst thing about it is I've got to take the either the chain off or the front sprocket off because it won't come out, so that's that needed to do. I've already done the brake lever, the brake lever was too high, so I've adjusted that so it's about level, so that's okay. So yeah, 24mm nuts all the way in, back three turns, three pronged adjusters is all the way in, and then um, 10 clicks out, which will stop the rebound coming back, it'll slow it down for coming back. There's also another fitting, I'll show you that now. Now it's a little bit hard to find, is at the bottom of um, the forks, right at the bottom, each side, right at the bottom, I'm hoping you're going to be able to see this, plastic washer there, that needs to come off, that's basically the protector from uh, road grime, everything, stop it from rusting up, we'll just take that off and I'll show you what's underneath it. So as you can see there, just under, under the rubber bung that we've just taken off, is um, the adjustment for the compression, so what you need to do is to wind that in, all the way in, and then come out 24 clicks. Once you've done that, don't forget, put the rubber washer back in. So that should sort out your front end chatter. Because when I did buy this bike, it was knocking my teeth out. It actually 
it actually gave me a bit of motion sickness. It was it was rattling my head that much. So the adjustments that I've done seems to be okay. Uh, probably could do with a little bit of slight more. I'm no suspension expert, but um, it should help. So that's the front end. So look at the back end, shall we? So on the back, you've only got um, two adjustments. You've got the preload adjuster on the top of the spring, and then you've got your dampening on the back. So your preload adjuster is um, held in by a four and a half mil grub screw. At this present moment in time, the adjustment on the preload of the spring is a bit hit and miss because what the information I got from CCM was was four turns anti-clockwise to loosen it or to soften it up from factory but I don't think it was at factory on the details I think on the Facebook site uh, for CCM owners it does have some measurements from the top of the adjuster to the top of the thread somewhere between 14 mil but if you put that at 14 mil the spring's not long enough I don't think it's right so what I've done at the moment, I had it at 14 mil, um, and it was okay. Then I found out that once you took the weight off, this spring like that was loose. So what I've done, and because of that, the bike wasn't sitting properly on the side stand. It wasn't really sitting over enough. So what I've done, I've, I've, I've taken it back to about 30 mil. I'm hoping it's going to be round about, round about right. So then with the dampening screw, just here on the bottom of the clevis block, so they call it, wind it all the way in and then bring it out 20 clicks. And that should soften the dampening on the, on the rear end. So yeah, that's what I've done. Going in a little bit closer. So as you can see on the top of the, the rear shock, there's a 2.5 mil uh, Allen key. One do that. This spins on the threaded and that's your and then at the bottom at the um, bottom of the clevis block so they call it all the way in and out 20 clicks to sort out your damping so yeah the, the other um, adjustment that I have done to it I've um, altered the, the brake this brake was um, it was about level and it was a little bit too high for me so all it's a case of undo the lock nut here adjust this and adjust the um, the stop nut at the bottom to wherever it's comfortable for yourself um, and that's so much better the other side the gear change needs adjusting it needs dropping down i just keep missing gears because i usually have my feet a little bit far back and i just can't get it enough so it just needs to come down a, little, a few degrees but to get it off i've got to either take like i say the chain off or the front sprocket i think the front sprocket is going to be easy because all it needs to do is just to, just to come out take it off um, the splines and then we can sort that out so there you go youtubers and ccm fans i don't profess to be a professional at setting this up but i've asked the questions i bought myself a bike quite a considerable amount of money it wasn't set up properly so i asked the questions i got the answers and i've sorted the problem if you found that video okay give it a thumbs up thanks very much um any questions anything you'd like to ask please comment down below if it's your first time here and you quite like this video subscribe subscribe button's down there ring that bell every time i upload a video you'll get a notification also comes up here somewhere at the end more rides out on the ccm now i've been trying to find a helmet for the last three weeks to match something like this i'll show you in a couple of days i hope it's been of interest to all of you i'm up in the lake district any ccm owners want to get in touch want to go out for a ride give us a shout out uh, comment down below get me on facebook simon b vlogger on facebook just do the search for it you'll find me have a look at the rest of the videos we've done some awesome roads around the lake district is my backyard and as they say keep safe and we'll see you soon